Hello, uh, this is Ibrahim Mukdad, and I am going to talk about comparing two images uh, using OpenCV and Python 2.7. Um, this video is basically a continuation to the previous videos I've been making on OpenCV, and uh, hopefully this tutorial will uh, make you do interesting things. So let's jump right in. Uh, I've prepared the images that we want to compare. I've prepared them right here. So what we're going to do, this is basically one.jpg, which is an ice cream image. It is ex I've just copy and pasted this image to two.jpg. So these images are the same. However, on three.jpg, I've added a dot here. Hope you can see it. So we want to do to be able to detect the dot and tell if the images are the same or not. Uh, I've also um, added this image here. This is a banana. Now this is a this is an exact copy, a duplicate of this one. Uh, banana, banana one, and banana are the same. However, in banana two, I've added a line, so we want to be able to detect the line here and tell if the images are the same. Now this is very simple and very straightforward. Let me go ahead and create a new file to start coding. As always, we need to import CV2 and import sorry and import NumPy as MP. Now, uh, as in the previous videos, we've seen how to load an image using OpenCV, using imread. So I'm going to load the first image and store it in image 1 using cv2, but I am read, and then we're going to supply in the path to the image. Since my source code is going to, to reside in the same location where the images are, I understand this is not a very organized way, but this is, this is just so for simplifying things. Um, it's just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to supply in just the name of the image and then I'm going to load in the second image, the same approach using I am read, I am read, sorry, and then supply in the name of the image like so. Now we've loaded the two images. Now to tell there is a method in OpenCV that does the comparison for us, or basically that that returns the difference in the two images. So that's simply called subtract so sub cv2 put subtract and then we're going to give in the first image and then the second image so this would result in a an image or an array of zeros we're going to store this in difference variable and to elaborate further uh, the difference if the images are the same this will be all zeros if there are difference in the images this will not be all zeros so we know now if this one is all zeros the images are the same so what we need to do now we need to use a numpy sorry we've named it mp numpy function called any so basically what any does this will return true if there is a true array like what what do i mean by this if this one was all zeros and the mp.any will return false. Uh, let me write it here. If difference is all zeros, it will return false. It will return true if this is, if it's a true array. It's a non-zero array. So we're going to give it in the array that we've named here, the difference. So this one will return, will store this, the result will store it in result variable. So this will return false if the images are the same. What we need to do is we want to make it easier for us to, to answer the question, are the images the same? We want to say true if the images are the same. However, this one returns false if the images are the same. So what, we, what, 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 what do I mean by the same? is basically if the images are the same it means that the this array is all zeros so we're just going to invert so if it's mp.any which means the arrays are the same it will return false and not will make it true so in this case what we'll do here sorry what we'll do here is we test result if true what we're going to print, I know there is a typo there, I'll fix it in a bit. The images are the same. 
and correct this result. Now, if else, which basically this is false, it would mean that the images are not the same. So what we want to do, we want to store the image as we have done in the previous videos using I am the trite, and then we're going to store it under the name result.jpg, and then we're going to supply in the difference variable which contains the image, uh, the difference in the images, like so. And then we're going to print uh, the images, sorry, the images are different. Uh, let's go ahead and save this one. Let's me call this image comparison. Come on. Like so. And then we're going to run it using F5. Oh, the F result is. Come on. There's a typo here. Save again and run. So the images are the same. Now we know that the first image and the second image are the same. Let's go ahead and compare the first image and number three. So instead of two here, let's give it the name three. And then we want to be able to see the difference. So the images are different. Let me go ahead and check if there is a result. Uh, yeah, here it is. Let's see if there is. Oh, here it is. Here is the dot. It was able to detect the dot. If we went back to the original image, here is the difference between the first image and the second image. This is the difference here. Let's, uh, for a better example, let's use banana. So the first image and the second image should be the same. So let's go at banana one. So we are basically comparing this one and this one. They should be the same because I just copy and pasted them. Uh, and the images are indeed the same. Now let's go ahead and compare banana to banana two. And instead of one, let's write and the images are different. Let's go ahead and check results. And there is the difference in the two images. So the process was very simple. A quick recap. I've loaded the images that we want to compare. Of course, I've loaded the libraries within OpenCV and NumPy. I've loaded the images that we want to compare. I've used the subtract method to get the difference between the two images. And then I've used numpy.any to tell us if this array is actual is an array. If this was all zeros, it will return it will give us false. And we just inverted the false for a log for easier uh, readability. So if the difference if the images are the same, this will contain true and we will output the set will output the string. If the images are different, we're going to store the difference in result.jpg and print the images are different. So that's it. And hope I hope that was helpful. Of course, there are other methods to compare two images. Uh, you might find uh, that there is uh, other approaches, say like comparing the indexes, comparing the hash keys, converting an image to hash. Uh, and of course, there are several other methods that one, um, sorry, that one could actually use. For example, there there is a um, uh, there are of course in, in NumPy there are several other uh, methods instead of using any but this is basically consumes less memory and stuff there is of course there is the np.all and of course there are several other approaches you could actually utilize uh, there is also the comparison there is basically several ways numerous ways you could actually use to compare the images anyways uh, I hope that was helpful and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot to my way. And have a good day. Goodbye.